Hi everybody and welcome to The Flute Practice. Today I am going to be looking at my three kind of favorite tone exercise helpers. These are particularly great exercises to work with and use when you're struggling with your tone, uh, when you're having those bad tone days and you can just really kind of revamp and work on your sound. Okay, so one of my just classic favorite exercises and it is so classic and so old school, but is just a good old Della Sonorite. It is such a great exercise. There's a reason why it's so iconic in the flute world, but really just our and so on and so forth. This very cool book is available on Scribd, so you can go and check it out and get it there and work with it. It is very, very cool. There is another other nice exercise, and I'd say this is probably even my most favorite exercise, but it's this kind of the three chromatic notes. So, I really, really, really like this exercise and it's really, really helpful to go down to the low register. You're just going step by step down to the low register and also going up to the high register. So even if you're a beginner and you're just busy kind of working on your sound, expanding your registers, this exercise is absolutely essential and golden. Another great kind of use of this exercise is to do octave practice. So you can jump the octave. So I'm jumping up the octave and then going down by a half step. And then the next note. So on and so forth, you can do it the other way around. So you could go up the octave. And so on and so forth. There's a really nice book by Philippe Bernold, which goes into this kind of Della Sonorita exercises and just expands on it amazingly. I love this book. And it's got some exercises in the beginning, which brings me to my next favorite tone exercises. And those are just playing beautiful melodies or doing these nice kind of what he calls vocalese exercises. So the very famous one is of course, Reichert number two is a very nice one for these vocalese exercises. and so on and so forth, nice and slow. It could even just be playing through your favorite melodies or whatever you like. Totally and utterly cool. A nice little extra tip that I've sometimes heard of when you're having a particularly bad day with your sound is to go into like a really boomy space, like go into a bathroom or a church or some kind of a hall where your sound just sounds a whole lot better. Of course, this is no way to permanently practice. Like we don't want to kid ourselves about our tone, but especially in those days that we just may be feeling a bit deflated or demotivated, it can be such a pleasurable, beautiful, amazing thing to do this. So it could be a nice little tip. Go play some of your favorite melodies in a lovely acoustic. There are two extended techniques that I think are absolute golden when it comes to tone. There are a bunch of others that I think are very useful, but these two are my number one hands down favorite. The one is singing and playing. This guy, I've so often spoken about this guy, like it's just such an instant, instant, instant fix. And I use it so much myself when I'm, you know, getting ready and I feel like my sound maybe isn't quite what it could be. I just quickly whip out and do some singing and playing. I've done a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go into serious detail here. But even if we just took that vocalese exercise again. <laughs> and then do it without. It's so nice. It opens up the throat. It really gets the breathing and support going very well. It is just absolute kind of like quick fix opening the tone exercise. The other really, really, really great one, and I want to spend just a tiny bit more time on this today is the note bending. This really helps us to get very kind of flexible, supple embouchure and lips. And this is really why it is so, so, so great. If you're struggling with a tight embouchure or it's, you know, not really working, maybe even just today or generally, this is a really lovely exercise to kind of loosen everything up and just get some movement there again. 
So the first thing I would do is you take on a B and all you're going to do is you're just going to roll the flute in and out. So you're just going to just rolling. I'm not changing anything else. I'm just rolling it in and out, feeling that scope. So now you're going to take that same B and this time we're going to just relax the embouchure completely and then we're going to pull on the corners a bit more and tighten it. So we're going to do this. You'll hear there's not a huge difference in the pitch there. That's fine. We just, you can do this in a mirror, watch your embouchure, really see that you can really release those corners completely. You can even almost puff the cheeks. So. so we're just playing around with that embouchure. And you'll feel as you're kind of releasing the embouchure, feel the control move more to the front, to this kind of very small aperture in the front here. So that we are really just controlling the sound in the front of the lips there. Then we're going to just move the jaw up and down and kind of back and down and then kind of bring it forward. Now the, the embouchure can go with if it wants to. So here often the embouchure is already going to want to relax as you go down. And that's totally fine because the next step now is to combine all three of these things. We're going to drop the jaw, we're going to release the embouchure and we're going to roll in the flute slightly and you could possibly also just drop the head ever so slightly. So we get this. And then we're going to go the opposite way. So we bring that jaw forward. We are going to tighten slightly. We're going to roll out and just lift the chin ever so slightly. And we start getting those nice note bends. And then you just play a nice note. And hopefully many of you will feel like the embouchure is released a little bit. You get more centered sound. You've kind of explored these three parameters that really affect the sound and found something in between that really works. It's a fun exercise and takes relatively little time to get results. So for me, it's like a real great one when you're struggling with your sound. Okay guys, one of my favorite things about this community is the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear what tone exercises do you guys love? Please pop down comments. Um, let me know what works, what doesn't work and give me some cool ideas because I love to learn from all of you. So go for it, go wild. Until then everybody, happy practicing and see you next time.